I was alive yesterday, and by alive, I don't mean on fire or running on all cylinders. I was sad. I was disappointed. I was proud. I was humbled. I was frustrated. I was alive because I let myself feel these feelings, and I provided space for others to share theirs too. I led a session on vulnerability, courage, and bravery for the women's group at my company. I shared my story of loss and a bit of my story of guilt. I heard others share their Me Too stories, their admissions that they haven't been showing up fully at work and in life, that they play it safe and stay quiet. In that room, I saw so much potential, so much promise. Giving others space to turn these admissions into action plans reminded me of the power of speaking our truth. We have to strip down to our most vulnerable and truthful place to know where we really want to go in life. I joked that we would need Kleenex during the session. I was surprised that it was really true. This experience was coupled with receiving both disappointing and shocking news throughout the day. I drove on the freeway and walked the aisles of stores trying to process these feelings, all of this aliveness. It was also during this time that I realized I was letting myself go numb. Who wouldn't want to feel numb when they are sad, disappointed, and frustrated? Then I reminded myself that it's only through letting ourselves feel the tough feelings that we can experience the truly joyful feelings. I'm asking you, how alive are you today? Are you going to try to tough it out or numb it out? Are you ready to embrace the low as much as the high?